I am standing in front of quite a milestone. Behind me is the first train that's arrived in Egypt for Alstom's Cairo Metro Line 1. And I am now with Massimo, and Massimo is going to tell me all about it. This is the first train delivered out of the 55 that are the full order. In order to replace the old trains that were already manufactured 40 years ago by Alstom as well. And so now we are progressively replacing them because they are at the end of their life with modern train, fully air conditioned, with much better uh, riding comfort. This is the first train delivered. So now we are actually, uh, or a portion of the, the full train. Uh, we are executing the test on the existing line. What else is modern about this train? First of all, it introduced type of uh, communication with the, with the passenger. So the one that we call passes or the, the way of communicating, which is very modern with a lot of screen, which are delivering a lot of information in real time to the passenger. So we are also introducing the latest technology in terms of preventive maintenance. Okay, so the train has a system that communicates with our cloud, giving data about uh, how the, the train is running itself and giving indication to the maintenance team what is uh, to be, uh, to be, let's say, maintained before anything happens. Our system, which is called the Elf Hub, oh, yes. which is a hub where all the, the maintenance data are collected, a kind of uh, uh, big data, uh, which allow us, as I said, just to optimize as much as possible the preventive maintenance. 40 years of service of the original trains. Yes. Okay, I think that's quite monumental, just by the way, considering the environment of Egypt. I think uh, yes, that's quite uh, harsh. Quite, quite harsh, quite aggressive, yes. yes. And they're still running, by the way. Yes, yes. I mean, like, that's quite impressive. Yes. How have you achieved that? Custom design, it's a very robust design, which is really meant to last. And some component could be in operation even longer than uh, the 40 years. And on top of that, a good maintenance plan, of course, this also plays a role. On those trains, exactly as on this one, there's going to be an initial part of the life, which will be also maintained by Alstom. Beside the two years of maintenance, there will be also an eight years uh, of maintenance already part of the contract. Yes. And during this period of maintenance, of course, applying the appropriate preventive maintenance, this of course allows you to extend the life of the, of the vehicle uh, even longer than the, the design life. Full capacity of the train is 2,580 people. That's the maximum people that can fit into this train. The seats are typical seat for a metro. In this train, we have introduced also the space for the wheelchair. The windows are made of a specific kind of glass, which allow to keep outside as much as possible of the heat coming from the sun, which allows as well also to optimize the consumption, the power consumption of the air conditioning. There are two air conditioners, and they both work in tandem. They have a modular design. Each uh, conditioner has a four different compressor and they are switched on and off accordingly to the load that is needed eh, in order to cool according to the external temperature and internal temperature. We have four camera for each car. And then we have a camera, of course, in front of the, of the cabin from outside and also inside the cabin. And then other things I'm assuming are in place, like the doors, can't, the train doesn't operate if the doors are open. There is, of course, a, a complete system, the so-called the TCMS, so the Train Control Management System, which is controlling that everything is happening correctly around the train, both in terms of uh, uh, the passenger and, of course, in terms of the uh, equipment itself. If there is any failure on any of the equipment, especially those that are related to the safety, immediately is given the notification to the driver. And for those that are really safety critical, the, the drop, of course, is stopped by itself without even the intervention of the driver. Actually, uh, on this train, we have a double so-called loop of uh, emergency brake because we have both the emergency brake and the so-called safety brake, uh, which are two independent loop. So in case one of the emergency brake doesn't work, you still have the safety brake. <laughs> Redundancy. Redundancy, Redundancy. Uh, okay. which it cannot be uh, even interrupted. The emergency brake, you can relieve it, yeah. uh, while the, the, the safety brake, you cannot relieve it until the, stop, the train is, fully, is fully stopped. So in that respect, uh, very safe uh, operation.